Concerns tonight over what many call a dangerous stretch of road in Hayes County. The grandmother died this morning after a crash on FM 1626. DPS troopers say a dump truck lost control and rolled over onto Tricia Folkrod's car. Her grandson in the car amazingly survived. Armando Santani is the driver of the truck, and he says he was on his way to a job in South Austin this morning when the accident happened, when he was cut off by another driver, causing him to lose control of the truck. It rolled down the hill on its side, and it kept on for about 300 feet, and that's when I hit the car. Farm Road 1626 is heavily traveled, a main connection between Hayes County and South Austin. Ongoing construction between Brody Lane and FM 967 is aimed at making the road safer. KXCN's Angie Bevins spoke with residents there tonight, some who say this is not the end of the problems. Today's deadly crash along this stretch of 1626 is a tough reminder for many people who travel this road of the need for this construction. But some say the wider road could present more safety concerns. A sign of the growth in Hayes County. A long time coming, but we've got it. It's got to be done. We, there's no way around it. They keep building houses. You've got to have the infrastructure to support it. David Graham uses FM 1626 just about every day. The crash seen Monday after a jump truck rolled onto Trisha Falkrod's car, killing her, is an example of why he supports the construction. Oh, it's a tragedy. Uh, I mean, th that's what they're trying to solve is trying to take care of these problems so they don't happen anymore. Hayes County and TxDOT teamed up to fund the project. Work started a year ago to widen the two-lane road to four lanes and add a center turn lane. Kirk Varney lives just off of 1626 and Huntington Estates. He sees some flaws in the plans. My main concern is they're not adding any extra stoplights for us trying to get out on the uh, east side going north. So we're going to have to cross two or three lanes of traffic now. Potentially dangerous left-hand turns. He sees causing more accidents. Varney says he hopes ultimately at least one light will get put in along the widened road to help residents in and out of their neighborhoods. This construction work is expected to be done in another year. Reporting in Hayes County, Angie Bevan, KXAN News. Online now at KXAN.com, you can see an interview with the driver of that dump truck that caused the deadly crash today on 1626. He says he was cut off with the other driver, and right now, it's unclear whether he will be charged.